KBOI 2 News at 5.30. A small country is battling human and drug smuggling, and all of that is coming towards us, coming towards our border. The numbers of seizures of cocaine staggering, and immigrants find their way to the border from as far away as India, Nepal, and China. Tonight, Yummy Virgin shows us the pipeline from Panama and what that country needs to stop the flow. It's one of the most dangerous jungles in the world. The Darien Gap is what separates part of Panama from Colombia. And it is the biggest obstacle for drug trafficking cartels to get their cocaine from South America to the U.S. border. The fight to keep drugs and drug money out falls on the shoulders of the Panamanian law enforcement Senafron. By air, $7 million stopped from entering the country in eight suitcases. Drug money coming through Honduras from the U.S. Final destination, possibly Colombia. By sea, 176 packages weighing about a kilo each of cocaine in the Panamanian border province of Gunayala. Or by land, the fight comes here with Senafron. Major Edmundo Candenado is assigned to the Darien province. We met him in a small town where the Pan American Highway ends. This is the end of I-35 as we know it in San Antonio, Texas. It comes all the way through Mexico, Central America, and it stops here in the town of Yavisa in Panama. This is where you'll find the river Chukunaque that divides the jungle and all who sneak through it from Colombia. Like hormiguitas or ants who cross in groups through the jungle loaded up with backpacks containing up to 55 pounds of cocaine each or transnational immigrants that come from as far away as India, Nepal, Bangladesh and Africa. Their goal is to make it to the United States. This is the bridge that the immigrants have to take. It basically brings them from Colombia. It's 60 miles to go on foot through treacherous parts of the jungle to get into Panama. Once they get into town, they find police officers and they ask them or tell them that they're immigrants and they tell them where they're from and then they are processed. And this bridge, as you can see, it's a little shaky. From 2015 until March 1st, more than 65,000 transnationals have illegally come into Panama from Colombia. When they come, they come very, very sick. They find us and we talk to them and we give some uh, medicine to, to all the family. For Panama, how important is it to give them treatment, to treat them in a humane way? For Panama, it's very important to help those, those people because they are, they are people, they are human. During the last few years, those who mainly come through this deadly jungle were Cubans. According to numbers from the Panamanian government, almost 32,000 Cuban immigrants came through here. The cost to house, feed, and treat them until they could finish their journey north was astronomical. The people who migrate have no idea what they are up against in this jungle. They have no idea their risk to their life of the Darien Gap. Major Candenado took us where one of the transitional housing areas was located. After being given medical attention, all immigrants are identified. That's right, even in this small country, all immigrants who come in illegally are not only ran through Interpol, but also through the United States National Crime Information Center, or NCIC, to make sure none of them are wanted criminals. And while there is some help from the U.S., it is easy to see that there is a huge need for more technology and canines. The new station, there are a it's a big, big building that uh, people from Santa Fron stay every single day there to find a car. Uh, some of the, some of them, those cars, 
bring a drugs. At this new checkpoint in Darien, not only are license plates recorded and ran, biometrics, which are unique physical characteristics used for automated recognition, the same that are used by Homeland Security, are being used here. We compare uh, the face, the, the fingers, we can find people, about people from another country. But not all immigrants are lucky. Some die in the jungle, others risk the dangerous waters to get to Panama from Colombia. Just days before we got to Panama, this small boat full of Cuban immigrants overturns. Ten die, including a one-year-old child. His body was later found on a Panamanian beach. For those who survived this treacherous path, they are one step closer to the American dream. And for the drugs that make it through that yen, there's still a long way to go until they make it out of Panama without being detected.